Hello. Today we'd like to talk about powder loaders and receivers from Conair. Conair has recently added tremendously to their line of powder loaders and receivers and we have a new broader range of solutions for anyone working with powder. There is a beauty in powder. It's versatile and comes in many forms and processes nicely for many products. In fact, it mixes well with fillers like wood products, so it's very predominant throughout our industry. But as many of us already know, there is a pain in powder. It is dusty and it cakes, packs, and blinds filters, making filter maintenance a real nightmare. Dust of powder can easily become airborne, causing a real housekeeping issue. And it can be highly filled. And so most processors are very concerned that, that's, that it stays filled so that there is no separation in conveying. So when we talk about conveying powder, we have to be very sure that we can do it in a clean manner and a very thorough manner. So Conair to the rescue with our new line of powder loaders and receivers. And when we talk about loaders and receivers, we're talking about a comprehensive range of motor-driven loaders as well as receivers made to operate within a central conveying system with a central vacuum pump and so forth. We now have larger and smaller versions of the PL15 receiver, which is a model that Conair invented some years ago, but we've expanded that. We now offer motor loaders, both large and small, and all of these loaders and receivers use cleanable, reusable polyester spun bond cartridges, as you can see here on the right. These things uh, add a lot of uh, convenience for processors, and they replace bags in uh, traditional bag house type conveying receivers and loaders. And here is that list of receivers and loaders. On the left, we can see the models from the PM8 through the PM15. The 15, the largest, with a 1.3 horsepower brushless motor and includes two filters. Over on the right, we can see remote vacuum powder receivers from the PR8 up through the PR25. And to make it easy in understanding these models, the numbers that are contained in the model references are actually the diameter of the main body of the powder loaders or receivers. So we see the PM15 brushless there. The diameter of that vessel is 15 inches. Over on the right-hand side, the model PR25 with three filters, the diameter of that PR25 is, in fact, 25 inches in diameter. Makes it a very handy reference for understanding the line. Now here's a quick overview of the operation of the PM model powdered motor loader. As the motor comes on, as we can see by the little green dot at the motor at the top, it's obviously evacuating air from the vacuum chamber, and we are drawing in material through the port down towards the bottom. Now, each model is equipped with a fill sensor to prevent overfilling that lower chamber, and so as the material fills up and trips that, uh, that uh, sensor, that will be an indication that the hopper is full. Now, while it is filling, those two large filters in this particular model are keeping that powder from escaping the chamber and keeping it from going into the motor that is creating the vacuum power. In the second stage of operation, the motor shuts off because the sensor has been tripped down below. And as soon as the motor shuts off, the compressed air that is accumulated in the tank on the side of the uh, powder uh, loader is released. There is a very large diaphragm uh, valve that releases the air from the accumulator and blows compressed air down through the cartridges, blowing off the collected dust as it helps the uh, material evacuate out the bottom of the loader. Very straightforward. A very simple operation on the model PR powder receivers, but there is no motor. We are connected to a vacuum pump located elsewhere, and we simply open the valve in the lid of the PR powder receiver, but the same sequence. We draw material in through the inlet at the bottom, and as we fill the chamber in the bottom, we are approaching the fill sensor that is located just adjacent to the inlet. That orange sensor terminates loading 
because we have a full chamber at the bottom. The valve at the top immediately closes and also immediately we release the air from the accumulator once again to blow down through those filters, blowing off the collected dust, dislodging any caking that has happened and so forth, and we blow the material and the collected dust down through the uh, discharge valve at the bottom. Now it's important to remember that on a central vacuum system, unlike pellet conveying, there is no screen in the receiver, but there is a polyester filter. That polyester filter is made to block 100% of the conveyed product, not to let it pass through the screen. And here we can see a TLR screen filter from one of Conair's TLR uh, tube loaders. And we can see through that screen. Well, the intention of that in pellet loading is to let dust pass through. But in a powder loader, we retain 100% of the material. There is no carryover. Dust is the product being conveyed, so it's not carried over. So there's 100% product conveying, the powder in other words, and 0% carryover going back towards the pump, and 0% separation. So in fact, if you do have a filled material, it is not going to become separated by moving it through a Conair powder loader or powder receiver. 100% of the material is going to be conveyed. And of course, there are guidelines. So on each piece of literature that we offer on the powder loaders and powder receivers, we do make this application note on the back page that these powder receivers or loaders are not intended for materials such as pure carbon black, titanium oxide, or any other difficult to handle material that requires an air to cloth ratio of less than three to one. Now, what does that mean? Well, we say it there in the little circle in the middle that we are expecting to uh, convey free-flowing powder. It's really kind of an essential uh, characteristic of the powder in order to be able to convey it by, uh, by vacuum. And also, the particle size must be one micron or larger. Now, that is well within the range of most of the powders out there. But uh, powders like carbon black, titanium oxide, they are actually like almost subatomic particles in that they are so fine that they cake, they build up, and they do not flow. And they will also clog the filters very, very quickly. So this is not the product for conveying those materials. As a matter of fact, those materials and materials like them are very difficult to convey at all. Many times they must be moved by an auger or simply dumped by hand and so forth. Now those filters that are inside each powder loader and powder receiver from Conair are what is referred to as polyester spun bond cartridge filters. This makes the whole subject of filtration significantly simpler because number one is an, it is a self-contained filter. If you notice in this cutaway in the center of this picture, there is in fact what is called a pulse jet reflector in there that aids in the blowdown that takes place to blow the dust off of these filters. In the lower left-hand corner, we can see some of the uh, advanced fluting that gives a tremendous amount of uh, surface area to each one of these. And then there are a great many details that make them easy to install, easy to remove. They are a hard uh, cartridge filter, and so there is none of the, um, the, uh, the trouble, the housekeeping problems of dealing with a, a bag. So this is an advanced alternative to bag filters. And these are completely washable for reuse. So these things may be easily removed, washed, dried, and reinstalled. And then, of course, they have that pulse jet reflector in the top that is optimized for effective blowdown cleaning. And we must acknowledge that cleaning is an issue when conveying powder because we are using filters and those filters need to be cleaned. The Conair line is a bit unique in that we provide multiple separation points for ease of cleaning. And we can see those pointed out in this little diagram with those orange arrows. These, this uh, loader receiver or receiver can be uh, disconnected, taken apart at two different points to make it easy uh, to get access for cleaning and simply uh, filter maintenance. And we sliced up our drawing of that receiver there just to give you, dramatize a little bit where the uh, device comes apart. So you can simply remove the lid, and as we see in the upper right-hand photo there, simply pull out the filters. Uh, they are connected, uh, multiple filters are connected to a common plate to make them easy to remove. But the cartridges themselves can be moved, removed one at a time. Once the, carter, the uh, filter uh, plate is removed, you can see in the lower right there, it becomes a small little unit that can be serviced on a bench 
or uh, once again, you can deal with those cartridges individually. Now, for those that want to do a little bit more thorough job, they can actually lift the top two-thirds off of this uh, powder loader or receiver, and uh, they'll be left with nothing but a loader body at the bottom, and that might be the better way to help uh, cleaning. Certainly, if you were going and making a radical color change, that might be the kind of advanced cleaning you might want to do. But the idea here is that you have a number of different ways to approach this for the cleaning that you are looking for and the maintenance that you need to provide. Now, as we said before, we actually blow down through those internal cartridges to clean them off after we are completed with loading. Well, what happens to that blowback air? That is accumulated air, and those are some strong blasts of air that we provide to keep those cartridges clean. Well, many people that are used to dealing with powder know this, and uh, some people don't. And so what Con Air provides is a filter riser as an option, and this provides a solution. And if you can see in the middle picture there, it, we can see the outline, the orange outline of the location of the loader or receiver on top of this riser. We lift up the, uh, the loader or receiver a little bit. We slide this riser underneath. And what that does is that provides a filter bag alongside the loader or receiver, and that gives the air a place to go. Now let's take a look at how that works. So we have here a little profile of the, uh, the riser. And we can see number one there, the powder loader would sit on top of that. And at the time of discharge, not only does the material flow down through that riser and into the processing machine or whatever you're loading, but also the blowback air that is keeping those filters cleaned is blowing down through there. Now, if we did not have such a device as this riser, that blowdown air is so powerful it could travel down the material inlet tube and maybe pop out or make the... Uh, the powder in the Gaylord or whatever the material source is, is bubble up a little bit. Even worse, it could come out through the seams between the hopper and the lid. Any place where there is a crack, that air has to go someplace. And we can see by this portion of the diagram, we give it a place to go. That sock that is mounted directly adjacent to the hopper loader or receiver releases that air. That air is able to go through that filter sock but we retain the powder that we have conveyed. We retain the dusty environment inside the sock and so that we still maintain good housekeeping even though we are getting rid of that blow down air. And then lastly, as we can see by number three, once all the unloading is done, maybe we're back to loading, but everything is at rest below the loader or receiver. And at that time, the powder that was collected in that filter sock is able to fall down the, uh, the ramp uh, right by the number three and into the material destination. Very clean, very simple. Um, no extra machinery, no extra timers or anything like that, but it's all taken care of and it keeps the uh, housekeeping at uh, in top condition. Now, for those that either can't accommodate the height of the filter riser beneath their loader or receiver, or don't want that, uh, that, uh, that additional complexity, that filter sock can be purchased individually and uh, drill a four inch hole in the top of the, um, the hopper that is being filled by the loader receiver and uh, just mount that filter sock right to the top of that. It does the same thing. It allows the uh, blowdown air to be evacuated and then lets the dust that has been uh, caught in the filter sock drop down into the destination. Now, which product, a loader or a receiver, would be best for your application? Well, there's nothing mysterious about this. If you have a standalone operation, as we're showing here, we can simply mount a powder loader with a motor on the top, the PM model powder loader, on top of that machine, on top of that hopper, and then convey from a distance of about 20 feet, typically with PVC, something like that, directly into the powder loader, and we are done. Once again, we recommend the filter riser for any application, but this is the basic uh, parameters for a standalone operation. Or you may have a larger scale operation and you need to fill multiple machines. And we show those pink machines here uh, with a couple receivers on top of them being powered by a remote vacuum pump and using one of our Conair FLX controls. This system operates exactly the way any central vacuum conveying system would work, except it's moving powder, it's moving the powder 100% of the time with no carryover, um, and, uh, but it operates exactly the same. 
Now, Conair has a lot of experience in this, and Conair has actually created what we call lab-created pump curves. We don't do this stuff on a slide ruler with a calculator. We actually run these materials in our lab, and we have a, um, uh, developed what we call pump curves to show how much powder we can move over what kind of distances using a certain uh, size of pump. Conair does have experience in powders, and you can rest assured that we will apply the correct powder receiver to your application. If you're new to the use of powder, let's take a look at the opportunities. We do support a wide range of powder applications. And here are some of them, some typical applications of just PVC. Of course, we know about piping and gutters and, uh, and so forth, uh, hot water pipes, but uh, greenhouse glazing, suspended ceilings, flooring, electrical applications such as insulation and sheathing, terminal boxes, package and thin sheeting used for blister packs and uh, shrink and food wrap. And I find it interesting that flexible foam includes some automotive cloth, leather cloth, shoes and so forth as we're seeing down below, even soft toys. So the range of use of even just PVC is very, very broad. To learn more about these loaders and receivers, simply go to our website, conairgroup.com. Look under conveying and you will see information about the PM series of powder motor loaders and the PR series of powder receivers. And once again, the comprehensive range of both PM model and PR model vacuum loaders and receivers is visible there. We can see the PM series across the top there, starting at the 8-inch diameter PM8, all the way up through the PM15 using a brushless motor and able to convey about a thousand pounds an hour of powder with uh, just a simple motor, very easy installation. When we go to a central vacuum system, we can select a receiver from the PR model receivers, and we see those across the bottom there, the PR8 through the PR25. And once again, that is an 8-inch diameter, some, a very compact powder loader, all the way up through a 25-inch diameter powder, uh, powder receiver. The uh, 25 is using three filter cartridges, and of course the PR8, very small, is using one filter cartridge. We hope you've enjoyed this little walk through the world of powder loaders and receivers, and we really thank you for your time and attention.